Alors, je m'appelle Alexander Fleischmann, je suis chef d'équipe euh, ici au Collège de France. Euh, dans le labo, on s'intéresse euh, au système olfactif, le traitement de, de l'information sensorielle au, dans, dans, le, la, dans le cerveau. Et euh, bon, j'ai fait ma thèse euh, à Vienne, en Autriche, et puis j'ai passé dix ans environ à New York, à Columbia University, avant de venir ici au Collège de France pour établir un euh, une, une groupe de recherche. And now we'll continue in English. So the different steps of our work involve the stimulation of sensor neurons with an odor, and then using two photon microscopy, the, the visualization or the monitoring of neural activity as it is detected within the olfactory cortex of mice. So on the screen you see two populations of neurons in, in, the, brain of a, in the brain of a mouse as the mouse detects uh, an olfactory stimulus. If we switch to one of these movies, then we can see how different neurons light up in response to this stimulus. So the goal is, is then to map the activity that's elicited by an olfactory stimulus onto a map of cell type identity. So how do different cell types uh, respond within the, the context of an, an olfactory stimulus? It's the same uh, type of neural activity that's elicited by uh, visual stimuli, by tones, by, and also by smell. But, but the way uh, the neurons are organized within the brain is different. And in fact, the sense of smell is the oldest sensory modality. So evolu in the evolution, smell came before there was vision and hearing or touch. And so in that sense, it's a simple uh, sensory system and by understanding the organization of this simple sensory system we believe that that we will also gain insights into how other sensory modalities are processed and encoded. Welcome everybody. Thanks for coming and in particular thanks to those who are coming from uh, far away countries. We are a young laboratory. We, we started two and a half years ago. We're here in Paris, but uh, we have, uh, in my laboratory, there's people from, from many countries at this point, and, and I've kept in close touch with uh, people from outside, in particular in the US. And so we've invited uh, our friends and colleagues to come here and, um, and dialogue, communication, uh, maybe constitutes about half of, of our work in the lab.